I think I learned at a young age that it is important to get out and, and, and really focus on helping others. And I think Mercer Island as a community and as a school district taught me that. It's a real community feel and students and teachers are able to make those kind of bonds and connections in the classroom where teachers are able to really walk the journey with students and find out what their passions are. Teaching had always been there. Uh, back to my high school days, it had been there in the back of my mind. Ultimately it came to the point where I realized that just about every job I had had, uh, every group I had been a part of, the days I was happiest and the days I was most satisfied were the days in which I had been teaching someone something. My experience at the high school was multifaceted, not just academic, um, building other parts of my character um, to prepare me for, for life. Kids come out of this district really learning and owning their learning so that it stays with them in the long run. The whole time you're learning and the whole time you're kind of figuring, figuring it out for yourself with, kind of, with the assistance of teachers. And I think that that's a really important thing to learn how to do is learn how to try and learn how to fail, but learn how to learn, how to learn from those mistakes and eventually succeed in that area. I've always loved science and math. Um, one of my favorite classes was Ms. Sheldrup's uh, AB Calc class. Ms. Sheldrup's class was a great introduction into um, some applied math. And for me, that applied math was computer science. I had Lee for multiple years. And as with all of our students, there's a big difference from freshman to senior year. Uh, maturity the curiosity, the not being afraid to take a risk, fail with the confidence to know that I can come back to this and get at it again and I'll come out with a, a solution that would be correct. I joined MarketShare um, and met Phil, our founder. MarketShare is about creating community spaces by empowering local immigrants and refugees through food. It is truly the startup struggle, uh, always balancing resources and time and capacity. So right now, uh, our architectural designers are envisioning eight to ten food stalls um, here on the Jackson Street level of the station. Not only is it a transit station for Amtrak, and you can hear the uh, horn right now, um, but while people are waiting for the train, you know, they could come grab a bite to eat. And not just if you're waiting, waiting for the train either. I mean, I work a few blocks away from here. Uh, I could walk over here for lunch. I am fourth generation Japanese American and third generation Chinese American. So I am not an immigrant or refugee myself. However, it's still important to me to keep those roots alive and also to support the current immigrant refugee uh, community. Not everybody has the chance to do something like this. And I think Mercer Island kept me on a really, really great path to the college that I attended. It helped shape my perspective um, in terms of knowing that from a position of opportunity and privilege, the, the big responsibility is to look at how you can give back and how you can continue to, to share that opportunity with other people. And that goal is well deserved, it has to be said. Two and two in MLS. No Josie Altidore, no problem. Can the Sounders answer back? Morris on the turn! Morris answers back! What a finish! You know, I still get chills listening to the national anthem, just knowing you're representing your country. I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was, when I was nine years old. All of a sudden, your life changes, and you have to deal with this disease that's really a 24-7 job. You can never re really stop thinking about it. Working with, with JDRF, they're a really good organization. I spoke at the diabetes auction that they have, the annual one, last year. Um, and just trying to get more out in the community. I, I think that's honestly been one of the coolest parts about getting a little bit more well-known is that young diabetics have reached out to me. And I know that when I was a kid, looking up to, to athletes like you know Jake Cutler has diabetes, Adam Morrison, guys like that who were, who were accomplishing their goals, even with it, was, was very important to me. I'm a, a writer. I like to, to write. I definitely think my brain works more like that. 
I think I had a lot of good teachers. Miss Hill was just the nicest lady in the whole world and um, when I took her class and you know she was she taught me a lot as well and um, still run into her every once in a while and she's just a great friend and my brother was on the uh, cross-country team with her and she was great with with him she's just a genuinely such a, a nice person so it's always nice to have a teacher like that. The one thing I really remember about Jordan is his coming up after class and just kind of following up one-on-one, -on -one, making sure that he really understood what we talked about in class, what the future assignments were. He's extremely thoughtful, extremely organized, and just a wonderful human being. I would love to hear what all of those themes are that you guys came up with. I know you don't So right now we are studying All Quiet on the Western Front and our class really works on discussion techniques, how they can find their voice, how they share that voice. I really like the English class with Mrs. Hill because whatever answer you give, she's always going to support you. She's going to uh, press you to add on to that and think even more about how you can apply the, the topics she's talking about to real life. Why do you think the, the liquid is turning blue? I try to hold my students to, to very high standards. So you're going to see when we first dissolve the silver, I want you guys, because you're going to take some observations, so keep an eye on what the color is when it starts out. And to really that, push them to uh, kind of be comfortable with being uncomfortable, uh, to quote one of Erica Hill's famous sayings, uh, and really just go beyond what they think they're capable of and find a new level. Danny's leadership style was one of dive in, get your hands dirty, and then ask how it went. Uh, he's, he's, he was a problem solver and an advocate from day one. It was pretty cool to watch. My, my longest lasting relationships uh, with my teachers from high school have definitely been uh, Parker Bixby, Erica Hill, and Aaron Noble. Um, and all three of them have been encouraging me uh, every step of the way. Um, I had some very honest and frank conversations about what it really means to be a teacher. These kids are brilliant. They are so um, ready for you to bring to them something exciting and valuable and challenging. They're so motivated and inspired by that and they demand it. I'm in the wind ensemble. I started off from baritone in fifth grade and was playing that for about a year and a half before my parents bought me a tuba for Christmas. And I've been playing this for five or six years. And Robert, he's a product of Danny's legacy even because our leadership model is one that we build on from year to year. So all the traditions in our program helped inspire and motivate Robert to get himself into the leadership positions where he is now. So with students like Danny and Robert both, um, you know, th these are kids who could choose to be and do anything, but they haven't always known that. Um, our job, I think, my job, certainly, and I think the school district does a great job of this as well, is to provide them as many touch points, as many avenues, as many doors, as many access points to not just discover what they want to be, but discover who they're going to be in whatever it is that they decide to pursue and decide to do. I think one of the biggest things that's true of, of anybody, anywhere, uh, but certainly with uh, high school age kids is uh, just finding your own place and finding you know what's going to inspire you and what's going to finally get through to you. Uh, for some people that's that's going to be the science class um, you know and for some people I think back to high school and I think it was in the band and, and on the cross country team where I really found a family. It's all just about making an opportunity and creating an environment where, where kids can, can find where their passions and their community lies.